Hi everyone, this is Trip Floss. Uh, welcome again to my channel or my uh, podcast, whatever you're watching. Um, welcome to my sanctuary, where I express my opinions and my thoughts and my feelings and my attitudes and ideas. And hopefully my IQ, which is spelled I-C-U-E, and my mental wellness process is reflected in what I am talking about and how I am talking. Um, I made a cup. I made a statement of my my uh, hallmark of mental wellness: hate the problem, not the person. Yesterday at the IOP, and a few people looked at me in shock. And it's a very radical idea. I think it's an idea that many of us might be fighting to. Uh, realize that you know it's probably something that I know is going to save our planet something I know is going to save our lives and um, I want to talk about something a little bit a little bit radical maybe a little bit far-fetched and it's around the idea of as a human as a limited human being while I have a right, while I believe I have a right to ask God questions, I have no right to uh, mess up the plan. I have the free will, I have the freedom to experiment, just as just as Adam and Eve felt they had to experiment and um, question God's plan, you know, according to the story. Human beings have, have a freedom to uh, believe what they believe, what they want. And as a person who has a freedom to do that, maybe not, maybe not always a right, but a freedom to believe that. As an American, it's in the Constitution. I'm an American, and it's in the Constitution. I think many of us still don't act in the spirit of that freedom because we still fight each other a lot. And um, many of us, I think, misunderstand what God wants. And I probably do too, still. I'm a human being. I don't, I'm not perfect. I don't know everything. I don't understand everything. I'm not an ordained minister or a clergy. But I do have my own ideas about spirituality that are in my uh, channel, my podcast, and such, and my even my forum board now because I've been posting about it there and about my personal life. And um, I had a uh, lately I've been having uh, future visions. They're not hallucinations, they're not visual hallucinations, but they're mind, I don't know if they're mind or spiritual things, but the phrase, I see the future, you know, the, the idea about, about uh, I think I can tell what's going to happen in the future, in my future, you know, in the world or in, in my life or whatever, and I had, I had, uh, a couple and um, three weeks ago or two weeks ago I had I had one I was uh, going to the grocery store and buying my groceries since I recovered from COVID I've been going shopping face to face again I haven't been using uh, DoorDash and Instacart anymore uh, I feel so good shopping for my own groceries again I think I threw my back out a little bit bringing my last load home last Friday last Thursday I I bent over a little too much and I hurt my back a little bit and I promise I'll go to the doctor if it doesn't get any better. I'm just being very mindful of my movements right now and thankfully I can still stand and sit as long as I'm careful. But I had a vision or a, if you want to call it a vision, I don't know what to call it, but I had some kind of a, a premonition or a, uh, premonitions can be positive too, they can't always, they don't always have to be negative, or, you know, they, they don't always have to be scary, but I got a little bit scared of this one, 
and it was positive, but I got a little scared of it too because I didn't know if I was just. I think my my uh, my intuition told me that I wasn't uh, sick. You know, I was still walking around the store and getting my groceries. You know, putting them in the shopping cart and all that, and doing the practical things. But I had this idea of of someone uh, shopping with me. I'll just put it that way. I had an idea of someone shopping with me, someone that I, I felt very dear in my life, someone I cared about, or someone I was interested in uh, maybe even uh, spending my life with in the near past or so. And um, I got a little scared because I thought, I thought first, first of all, Turquoise, what are you doing thinking about that? You know, you, you can barely even... Uh, go shopping by yourself. You can barely even uh, do things on your own. What, what, why are you thinking about taking care of someone else or uh, taking somebody in? Why are you thinking about that? And um, our minds will, I think, fight us when we have uh, these kinds of things going on. You know, they'll, our minds will say things like, uh, that's really stupid. But there was another, there was another, uh, force inside me going, wait a minute, Jen Carroll, your mind is trying to protect you again, maybe, maybe you need to listen, maybe, maybe God is trying to tell you that you have a future, because most of the time I don't know if I really have one, you know, and I, and I get really scared, because my roommate, Bruce, is getting up there, I don't want to have a negative attitude, but he, all humans are finite, He's going to he's gonna pass away someday, and I'm going to be alone unless I uh, connect with other people. And if God is trying to show me something right now, I better listen. I better. And I had another vision just now, uh, 20 minutes ago, and it prompted me to make this video, you guys. I was looking into my roommate's room. I was walking through the hallway with my coffee. Here's my turquoise glass. <laughs> I was walking through the hallway. Maybe because I was carrying this thing. I don't know. Again, another idea that I had. <laughs> um, and I, I saw that room being her room. Being their room. No, it's not a she. It's a they. I saw the person sleeping, it's like 5 o'clock in the morning right now, I saw the person sleeping in my roommate, my roommate, my roommate is living with me now in the present, I know that, but I saw her, I saw them sleeping in that room, and I felt like it was the future, just like the grocery store uh, thing. In the grocery store, I felt like I was, I had this feeling like, like in the future, I'll, I'll probably be shopping with this person. And helping her get her groceries. I'll be this old woman now helping her or them or getting their groceries. And um, same thing um, with, the, with the room. I walk past my roommate's, my now roommate's room, and I'm seeing this person sleeping in her bed, their bed. I'm not too clear if this person's a she or a they. They can't really they're not really telling their uh, gender, and that's fine with me, they don't have to, but it's like, they're in that room, and I'm, I'm walking past them in, in the future, uh, asking them how they're doing, you know, are they, are they okay, are they comfortable, or whatever, just like my uh, now roommate used to do with me when I was uh, younger. I remember when my, my, my roommate is, my roommate is 20 years older than I am, and uh, this person that I'm thinking about is, is about 10 or 12 or 13, 15 years younger than me, and um, I'm seeing my future, you guys, but I also know that my feet are on the ground, I also know that, uh, that idea can be uh, refuted and differed with. Um, many of us don't see things in spiritual ways or 
you know, vision, vision ways, you know, vision, you know, vision seeing people, or, you know, manifesting, you know, many people don't, don't believe in that stuff, and I don't know if I believe in it either, but I, rem I remember when my aunt passed away, I had a vision of seeing her in the hallway in the, in the emergency room dying. I called out to her in my mind, and and she died. And I know she died because she disappeared. Her the vision went away, and, and I didn't feel her on on Earth anymore. On Earth anymore. And I've asked GPT these questions. Um, I've asked a couple of people, and they think I'm just nuts, or they think I I need to get a hold of myself and talk to my doctor or whatever, but. I hear people on YouTube, I think maybe there's, that's why there's that video that says, uh, before you, uh, click share, before you click share, you need to, uh, check and make sure it's real stuff, it's not, uh, false information, and I have a disclaimer, you know, disclaimer all through, all through this video, it's understood that I don't, I don't know what's really going on, I don't know everything. I don't even know if there is a God, but I've got a sense and a feeling that there is one, because there are 7.5 billion people on this planet. This planet is so big in relation to an individual body that the, the ground looks flat instead of round. Um, and we have gravity, and that's certainly a power greater than us. Uh, we don't know everything. You know, we can study things till we're blue in the face, and we can get facts, we can get information, but we don't have all the information, you guys. I don't have all the information about my, uh, my seeings. It might just be an idea in my head. It might just be a fantasy, but um, I think God's also trying to tell me, Jen Carroll, um, you're only you're only going on 57. In my eyes, you're only you're still young, and you have a future, and you better listen to me, or you really are going to be alone for the rest of your life. You're even going to be homeless because you're not going to have someone to share your rent because you're going to keep fighting me. You're going to keep fighting uh, the goodness in the world by um, using your mind to uh, hurt yourself or sabotage things, sabotage your life, and sabotage my, uh, my work. God so loved the world. Um, I have a, uh, I made up a, another, uh, I made up another litany here, you guys, um, before I go, um, you know that song by, uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, some of you, um, love the one you're with, I changed the words, you know, with all due respect, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, I'm a big fan of yours, and, um, you know, disclaimer, I don't own, own you, I don't own the records, I don't own the music, but, I changed the words around for my uh, Christian beliefs. If you can't love the world you're in, love the one who made it. God made the world, God so loved the world, and I'd better listen to him. At the same time, I'd better not confuse this with wishful thinking. I, uh, I go to a 12-step program now, I'm even founding something right now about for uh, Limerence, Lima, L-I-M, capital A, uh, Limerence Anonymous. I want to found a 12-step program for Limerence. Um, it could be just Limerence. You know, I could be just having a, a really far-fetched idea in my head. But um, we don't know everything. I don't know everything. I don't know everything. It could be just an idea in my head. But it could be something that God's telling me to pay attention to. And to not be so afraid of. Alright, I hope you guys are all safe. You're loved. This is Turk Boss signing off.